This building is set to be demolished. Responsible is the fire department in Duisburg. Have all the people in the surrounding area been evacuated? A drone is surveying the situation, providing images to the operations command. The streets are empty. Only now can the demolition proceed. We are in Bavaria, in Gilching, near Munich. Here, we are visiting a company that manufactures drones. CEO Florian Seibel aimed to produce highly professional drones for special missions from the very beginning. I have spent 16 years in the Bundeswehr before, studied aerospace engineering, and then became a pilot. However, after seeing the use of drones in the Bundeswehr, I quickly realized that there was potential to do more. And he's done more. For Florian Seibel, it was important that his high-performance drones are built in Germany. Since then, the company has become one of the leading manufacturers. Let's look at a comparison. This small Chinese drone costs about 800 euro, while a large one from Gilching costs 180,000 euros. What's the difference? First, the small drone, now almost a brand name, is operated with a simple remote control. Primarily, it does one thing. Control the drone to the target and back. Proximity sensors ensure a safe flight. The HD camera footage is saved on a memory card. However, professional missions have entirely different requirements. The high-performance drone must, for example, be able to fly long distances. The advantage of having wings on the aircraft is much more efficient movement, like a bird gliding through the air, which allows the drone to stay aloft for many hours. That's why our aircraft is approximately 20 times more efficient. This means the high-performance drone can fly at least three times farther than the small drone. During this longer flight, it demonstrates its additional capabilities. For example, in an operation for the Deutsche Bahn, it must ensure the entire track is free of objects and not overgrown with plants. The drone takes off and provides precise data. An algorithm creates a virtual map and informs the central office where clearing is needed. In such operations, high-performance drones must also have significantly better vision than small drones. We have an infrared sensor for thermal imaging, as well as a daylight sensor. Additionally, there is a laser rangefinder and a so-called low-light camera that is very light-sensitive and can still capture good images even in twilight conditions. This is evident in this mission. The drone is to survey a gravel pit, detecting things we cannot see. A small test. Where is the gravel excavator hidden in this image? At 80x magnification, it's no problem. With such high resolution, these drones are naturally of interest to the military as well. All the pilot has to do is program the flight path. The drone handles the rest. Intelligent drones can detect and track tanks, distinguish civilians from armed individuals, and identify weapons. It's no surprise that such drones also play a role in the Ukraine conflict. Kiev has ordered over 100 from Germany, a multi-million dollar deal. Nevertheless, it does not count as weapon delivery. We are subject to export controls. If we send anything to any country, like Ukraine, the BAFA in Germany must approve of it first. Additionally, our aircraft is not capable of transporting any weapons, grenades or ammunition. They are purely reconnaissance drones. This is because reconnaissance drones in particular play a crucial role in providing information from areas affected by disaster and crisis. World-class technology made in Germany. <laughs>